Catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of July 18th. When Beacon Hill Area Neighborhood Association exercised its right to appeal to the San Antonio Board of Adjustment over part of a plan for a convenience store on Fredericksburg Road, the response shocked them. The local development group, GFR Development Services, threatened the Neighborhood Association members with litigation. Courts have a name for such frivolous suits. Strategic Lawsuit Against Public Participation, or SLAP suits. Find out how two lawmakers are using the Texas Citizens Participation Act to help neighborhood associations and other community organizations get SLAP suits dismissed easier and faster. Then, look ahead to Saturday, July 23rd, when Esperanza Peace and Justice Center is hosting a community discussion called Take Back Our City. They'll look at historical events through San Antonio's history as it relates to development, privatization of public spaces, and displacement, and put that against the backdrop of what's happening now. People are coming together all over San Antonio for some meaningful conversations about racism, equity, and justice, and we've got our cameras on it so you can be there live or later. On July 12th, 100 people gathered at the Muslim Children Education and Civic Center for a town hall discussion with religious leader Sheikh Omar Hussein. Our video highlights the discussion on police brutality, racism, and ideas about working towards change. On July 14th, nearly 100 people of different races gathered at the Circle School to talk about working together as allies. The group named itself San Antonio Coalition for Justice and Equity and plans to meet regularly going forward. Hey, um, I think the black. I think the event tonight is a great step towards having a conversation that's inclusive of, you know, um, the victims of police brutality, the victims of anti-black violence within our San Antonio community and worldwide, but also with the allies who want to contribute to the cause and they may not know where to start. So this is like a learning opportunity for them. Later this week, Peace Center San Antonio and Compassion Net San Antonio issued a call for a demonstration July 21st on the steps of City Hall to make a loud and unified presence to support a compassionate San Antonio. Join us live or later. What happened with the recently opened first half mile reach of Alazan Creek Trail? Commentator Mark Turpak takes a look and says it came up lacking and shows disregard for the Westside Creek Restoration Project conceptual plan. Has Westside Creek flood hazard mitigation and pedestrian connectivity been shortchanged by planned downtown San Pedro Creek improvements? Read Turpac's piece and see what you think. You have until September 16th to visit the Culture Commons near City Hall to see an extraordinary exhibit. Local photographer Ramin Samandari took portraits of 268 vigil artists in San Antonio, and they're compiled in an exhibit called the Faces of Art. The Faces of Art exhibit by Ramin Samandari was something that he'd been developing for a long period of time and we committed to host that show here. And he's a wonderful photographer and he just captured, you know, all the wonderful artists that San Antonio has. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very vibrant, diverse uh, art community. I, I thought it was worth, worth knowing about. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next week.